So I've got here, I found this just yesterday. There's on the internet, you can find a cassette tape that someone found at like CES. They weren't given the cassette tape, they found the cassette tape. <laughs> So maybe they stole the only copy, but um, it's this Heyankyo Alien cassette tape that has the soundtrack, part of the soundtrack, and it also has this piece of audio here, which it seems like you could call a phone number and get this, maybe, but I'm going to play it now. The time. A thousand years ago, almost to the day, the place, Heiankyo, the capital city, one of the most beautiful and peaceful places on Earth. Suddenly... Look! Up in the sky! <gasps> Who are those creatures? They're man-eating monsters! Run! Run for your lives! There's nowhere to hide! Running is useless, fever earthlings. <laughs> <laughs> Only you can save the city from these hideous aliens. First, you must dig ingenious alien-catching traps, and then bury them alive. But how do you dig? And where do you dig? This calls for intelligence, unusual tactics, quick thinking, and a Game Boy. Can you do it? Can you save the gentle people of Heiankyo from the horrible man-eating aliens? Go to your nearest toy store and capture Heiankyo Alien from Meldak. The whole town is counting on you! And as a special reward to those who dare do battle with the evil from beyond, we'll give away a free Meldak Original Designer t-shirt to the first 80 warriors who buy Heiankyo Alien. These are one-of-a-kind t-shirts featuring the Heiankyo Alien in all his gruesome glory. So try to be one of the first 80 alien fighters to buy Heiankyo Alien. Just cut off the barcode from the package. Then send the barcode to Meldak along with your cash register receipt. Be sure to include your name, address, and telephone number. You'll find our address right on the package. For more information, just call Meldak Direct at 213-286-7040. This offer is limited, so you'd better hurry. Now here's a tip for super brave alien fighters. If you really want to waste those monsters, play Heiankyo Alien with a friend. You'll hear every thrilling sound of the battle as each Game Boy plays its very own rock and roll background music. Then, the sounds suddenly merge to create an incredible combination all its own. It's only just become possible thanks to the very latest in audio technology, the Multi-Matrix Sound System. And now, coming attractions. Appearing soon in late September, an exciting new game from Meldak. It's a totally new, totally radical action shooting role-playing experience. And that's not all. We'll be giving away great free gifts in October. Gifts. Give me the gifts and maybe I won't eat you. Uh-oh. Now you've done it. It all starts September 20th. Don't miss it. We'll talk to you then. That's September 20th. If we make it, that is. Oh, we're out of here. But thanks for calling. Whoa! <laughs> so... A couple things. I think that the amazing role-playing action game they're talking about must be Mercenary Force. The quadraphonic sound rock and roll thing is um, apparently the game when you're playing two-player, apparently the game plays the same song but like with different parts of the song coming out of each Game Boy. So, that's apparently what that meant. And, um, yeah, 80 copies. Like, <laughs> how many copies do we expect to sell? How many, how can, like, what can we reasonably do for the run on these t-shirts? How about 80? 80 copies. But here's the Game Boy version. I like this version a lot. It's also got the arcade one on there. Or at least a scaled down arcade one.
these kind of like fireball spaces are spaces that go back and forth between being solid and you can walk on them. There's two different kinds of aliens. I'm not sure how like differentiated they actually are. In terms of gameplay. play area on this version means that you kind of have to do the thing where you build a base and kind of expand outwards. Sucks. I think I might be doomed. Okay, no. Oh, he went to save the other alien. They have AI. That's interesting. I think that the, that the creature was trying to get to me when I was up in the corner. And then I got saved by the fact that the alien wasn't the So this one at least keeps score. It's got different level designs, it's got kind of nice graphics. You can really see the beautiful capital in all its glory. I see it, yeah. <laughs> He's really kicking his legs. Oh, I can't get there. It seems like you have to start the stage over, but your holes remain. It really does seem like they're programmed to help each other to an extent.
I can just stay here forever. I'm not moving. Okay, I'll move. Oh, the metal plates you can't dig. sure how good of an idea that is. But it is something you can do. So this is the version that I think kind of adds... It adds the least, but also the most in some ways. <laughs> got all sorts of different stage gimmicks, but it's maybe like the most faithful, I don't know. That's my feeling. Try to beat this, I'm not sure if I will. Skill wise. Don't really remember how long it is. I did eventually get this on Game Boy, so. See, 11 aliens in this stage. <laughs> this tiny little stage. Well, maybe not. Maybe that's... It said 5-6. Maybe more spawn in.
Apparently Jeremy Parrish talks about this game a lot, I don't know. I noticed, um, in my searches for the Neo Heonkyo Alien ROM, the, the NES remake. One of the one of the search results, somebody was asking for the ROM, and somebody replied, "Get out of here, Jeremy Parrish, you bitch!" or something. <laughs> so I guess it's something he talks about. Genius alien trapping on my part. situation. Come on, get in there, get in there, get in, get in your home. Those guys are just stuck forever. set up here. Worked out. I guess the count is the total number of aliens of a type that you killed. Like, so if you died, then it saves up that number and adds to it. Is this the ending? Have I defeated them? this being longer, if that is the ending. If there's not some kind of surprise here.
Look at that thing. Oh shit, there's still one. There's still one left. Oh. Okay. Huh, that could be like twice as long, easily. And keep my attention, certainly. I guess there's not, there's only so much you can do with the Game Boy screen, I don't know. I like that version. <laughs>